So why are chili peppers hot? And the easy answer to that question is because they contain a compound called capsaicin. Capsaicin is special because it binds to receptors in our mouth that signal to our brain that we have something that is thermally hot in our mouth. And of course, capsaicin is not thermally hot. If you put a thermometer inside a chili pepper, um, it won't read especially high. It'll be the same temperature as the outside environment. And so what's going on is that capsaicin has essentially hijacked those neural receptors and fooled our brain into thinking that there's something thermally hot in our mouth. And that's why we call chili peppers hot. Uh, but they're not, really. It also explains why we, when we have uh, something that has capsaicin in it that we've eaten, that we tend to sweat, that we want to drink cold water, and why those things really don't do much good. Because, of course, our, our mouth isn't thermally hot. It's chemically hot from that capsaicin. So that's the easy answer about why chili peppers are hot. But there's another more complex answer about why chili peppers are hot. And that has to do with why a, a plant would put a compound like capsaicin into the fruits. The purpose of a fruit, if you're a plant, is to get something to eat you. And the important thing about being eaten is that the thing that eats you ingests your seeds and then later defecates those seeds somewhere else and therefore disperses them. And that's a big deal to a plant because most plants are literally rooted in place and the only way they can get from one place to another is if something carries them there or if wind blows them there. But for chili peppers, it's really all in getting an animal to eat them and disperse them. Ecologically, what capsaicin does is it protects the fruit from organisms that would attack the fruit and not disperse the seeds. And there are two sorts of organisms that are the big enemies of a chili plant. One of them is fungus, because fungus will attack and rot the fruits, just like a fungus would attack a peach on your kitchen counter. Uh, the other big enemy of a chili plant are mammals, and in particular mice and other rodents that eat the seeds. And of course, in eating the seeds, they don't disperse them like most birds would do. It turns out that capsaicin has very large antimicrobial properties. That is, it stops fungal growth and other microbes cold. The other thing that it does is it is painful to mammals. And so it stops mammals, and in particular things like rodents, from eating the seeds. Now you might be thinking, why doesn't it stop birds from eating the plants? And the answer to that question is because birds taste things very differently than mammals. Birds, of course, don't have teeth, and they don't crush things in their mouth very much. They tend to swallow things, and most of the food processing takes place inside their gizzard. So they taste the world in a very different way, and it turns out that birds, simply by an evolutionary quirk, do not have the receptors in their mouth that bind capsaicin. So birds literally cannot taste capsaicin, and chili peppers to them are not hot. And so what you have in capsaicin is this magical sort of compound that targets the mammals and the fungi that would destroy the seeds while not discouraging the birds that would eat the fruits and disperse the seeds.